question where the uh, CDC did a study that indicated to agree with the code, we have to wash our hands 8.6 times uh, per employee hour. Everybody feels that's a little higher than we'll ever achieve. I think uh, so. <laughs> and uh, so, but yet if you follow the code, it would have to be that. It was an observational study. It was done mm. very well by mm. the environmental people at uh, CDC. Um, so I'm looking at that. I think I, think I know the answer. But I don't know what to do with the answer. Uh -huh. The answer is if I'm deboning chicken, yes. it's the same hand wash because the code only has one hand wash. Yes. In it. yes. So if I touch my face, it's the same thing. We can't seem to prioritize within the code. There's a concern, I think, that. So what happens is oh, if, I'm if, if you took this out of the yes. equation, it'd probably be more like four. Right. So half the problem is in this. Now, this is the area that there are probably other techniques, like probably could do sanitizer in between. Yes. Uh, I don't know, but that's... Uh, and, and that's actually right. And, and, and I've seen places where that is being used, where you, there are certain procedures where you have to, you have to wash your hands between when you've done one thing, you know, you're going to take your gloves off, you're going to wash your hands, you're going to re-glove, and you're going to continue to do stuff. The, like the demoning of the chicken, you're handling something that you know is going to have some level of microbes on it that you want to take care of. Some of the other things that, you, that you're doing, if you, you don't go through a hand washing, you just do a, sanita a sanitizer. So I think you're right. I, and, and this is a matter of just trying to break these things down by relative risk. These three activities, absolutely, you've got to wash your hands because we know the risk is, is high. But 8.6 times per employee hour, I mean, that's just not going to happen. That's right. It's, it's not going to happen. So it's, so it's like, well, which of those 8.6 are the ones you really need to do? What happens is you devalue it all. Yes, you do. When you don't, you can't provide, you can't prioritize. And people just give up and say, well, I can't do that. You're forcing the operator to make those decisions because he has to make the decisions. Yes. So, so help so him. So, yeah, so help, help him. him. Yeah. Help the operator. Well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. That's we're putting, us. We're try, trying to get counters in the soap dispensers, get some numbers yeah. so we measure things. Yeah. So yeah. It's been a pleasure. Thank Likewise. you so much. Thanks so much for your time. Great questions. Yeah, thanks. Thanks.